In this video, you are going to learn about Markdown and ASCII doc. We're going to look at the difference between Markdown and ASCII doc syntax. So you're going to understand the variety of syntax options they are, and you're going to be able to make an informed decision of which of those two technologies you should be choosing. Finally, stick around to the end of the video so I can show you how to generate good looking documents using both ASCII doc and Markdown. Let's go. Hey, what's up? So good to see you. My name is Jeevius. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if not, I'd really appreciate you uh, adding some comments and subscribing to the channel so we can go on this journey together to solve technical problems for software engineers. Markdown and ASCII doc are both tools to write documents without getting distracted by the formatting of writing those documents. If you've written emails before, you probably know what it's like. It's usually pretty easy to go from the brain all the way through the keyboard, but sometimes writing bigger documents in something like Microsoft Word gets a little bit more difficult because there's formatting that distracts you, creating tables, all of those things. In the past four years, I've been using Markdown to generate documents because this is in a nice, easy text format. And Markdown creates a syntax that allows you to create like bold, italics, and just some other emphasis in the document that you can then later publish to look much better. Now, I've been using Markdown for about four years. And generally, I've been happy. There have been a few things that I've been uncomfortable with. And we're going to discuss a few of those in a moment. Recently, I found out about ASCII doc. And it has a very similar syntax. And I decided to do a comparison to understand which one I should choose. I've been trying them out now for a few weeks. And I wanted to share my recommendation with you. But before I do that, let's get into the syntax. The Markdown syntax is pretty easy. As you can see, it's just a text document. And you can create headers. You can create second and third level headers and various other different levels. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend going beyond three levels usually. And you can add italics or emphasis to the text, make it bold. You can also create nice looking paragraphs and add blocks of quoted text. For example, if you need to highlight a code snippet you want to introduce in your document or a quote from a different person. There's also an extended markdown format that you can use to create, for example, checklists. GitHub uses these checklists quite a lot. And they've been quite useful to create little to-do lists in just a markdown format and mark things off. There's other extended syntax as well, like creating tables and maybe underlining or you know, creating a superscript. But in general, this isn't well supported with the main core Markdown package. And that's about the range of the options that you have when using Markdown. It's pretty simple, it's pretty lightweight, but it works pretty well. And this is where ASCII doc essentially carries on. Rather than having this basic and extended format, ASCII doc has a wider variety of syntax. For example, you can also add underlines, and you can add different kinds of emphasis to your doc. Other constructs, like definitions, are really well supported. And you can add things like comments to your document as well, just like when you write code. My recommendation is for you to use ASCII doc. The syntax is really much the same from Markdown. So if you are used to using Markdown, switching to ASCII doc should be pretty easy. The real big differences are the way the links are structured in Markdown is slightly different to ASCII doc. And also the headers, I usually have these hashtags that I use before a header in Markdown, but I now tend to use just the equal signs. So that works pretty well. Um, the parsing is much the same, but I get the flexibility of having a richer syntax in ASCII doc without sacrificing any of the time that to you know, create the doc. And it's still very, very readable in text format. And now for my bonus tip. You can use a tool called ASCII Doctor to generate nice looking PDF or HTML from your text document. And as you can see here, here's the script that I've been using for this video, and it's got a nice looking HTML page. If you want to also add additional styling, you can just use the CSS style sheet. So for example, if I wanted to scrap all of the styles that come default out the box and just make the headers green, I could do it by adding a simple CSS directive, regenerating the doc, and getting the nice output. There is also another tool called Pandoc, which can generate docs from many formats to many other formats. For example, you can move from Markdown to HTML or to PDF, or even Markdown to Word documents. Uh, so that's a general purpose useful tool uh, that I've been using many times, and I've generated many docs using the Pandoc tool. It's, it takes a little while to get used to, but in general, it's a, it's a really good tool. But for ASCII doc, I recommend using ASCII doctor. Super simple to install and works out the box. And that's the end of this episode. Thank you for getting this far. Please leave a thumbs up if you found this information useful. And consider subscribing. And also leave some comments. 
Until next time, take care.